Hi, I'm Boone, and this is Boone Slot Car Garage. And today, we're gonna go ahead and build ourselves some crash vents. So I went ahead and figured this out down here. We got the layout looking pretty good, and I think we're lacking some crash vents. So let's do this. Okay, so there's only a few little items we need to do this crash fence. First off, we need to get some uh, round bar. And this is a uh, eighth inch round bar and it's 48 inches long. Uh, second up, you need to go ahead and get yourself some tie wire. You can either use this type of tie wire or you could use a lighter gauge if you wanted to. Um, have a little bit of solvent to go ahead and clean the grease off the bar. A little bit of uh, metallic aluminum spray paint. And last but not least, the wire mesh. And this mesh is 1 8 galvanized mesh. And it's 6 inches tall and it's 25 feet long. So we can build a lot of crash fence with this. Alright? Alright, let's get started. All right, first off we want to do is we want to clean our bar. So we'll go ahead and take our solvent and then we'll clean all the, uh, the packing grease off this bar. And they use that so it doesn't rust or anything else. But we need it off of there so it's a nice clean surface. So first thing you want to do is you just want to go ahead and get the bar all nice and clean. All right, second, we're going to go ahead and we're going to measure the bar out. At seven inches. Now remember that our our mesh uh, screen is six inch. So what this will do is will give us an inch in the bottom side of the uh, catch fence that we can go ahead and mount it in our layout. Our layout. Um, if you want to go ahead and run it longer, you could run it longer. If you want the uh, the legs to stick down further, so. Tonight, we're just going to do this at 7 inches. So, go ahead and got it at 7. Marked it. It's light steel, so we can go ahead and just cut it with some dikes. So, go ahead and do that. We've got our bar. It's at 7 inches. Go ahead and get yourself a crescent wrench. This right here is an 8-inch crescent. And it works pretty good because it gives us about an inch of overlap up on the top. So we'll go ahead and put it on there. Get a little bit of a tug over. And I run these things at about 2 o'clock. So it gives me just the right type of shape for that fence. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut out a few more of these. And uh, when we come back, we'll go ahead and start mounting these things up. Okay, so we went ahead and we cut out a bunch of these. I go ahead and I pin these guys up on top there. And then I also run it in an inch down below. That way it gives me six inches of fence height. And it gives me an inch of a pin hanging out the bottom so I can go ahead and lay it into the layout so if we measure this out I just run this at one inch and the next bar goes right at the top right here so what I do is I go ahead and I use vice grips and get this into place and go ahead and pin them all down and then I go ahead and weld it all up. Now the spacing between these bars, I run at four inches, okay? So it gives me a four inch spread. So if we go ahead and we measure this out at four inches real fast. This measured out. You remember our one inch at the bottom. Then we can go ahead and set that all in. So 
I'll go ahead and get this all tied together. So this next part requires some welding. And I happen to have a wire feed. And I understand that not everybody has a wire feed welder in the garage. So there are different ways of bonding steel together. You could uh, use brazing. Uh, you could even try to use an epoxy. There's a lot of good epoxies out there to go ahead and put the, the metal together. Uh, maybe there's a mechanic or an auto body shop that's around your neighborhood that for a couple bucks you could have them welded up for you. Or if the guy's a real slot car nut, he might actually do it for free. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and weld all these pieces together. And when I get done with that, we'll come back and we'll pick it up from there. Okay, so we got it all welded together and it's actually starting to take shape like crash fence. So what we need to do at this point is you go ahead and get everything cleaned up, wire brush it, kind of dress up some of the welds or some of your joints in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. We're gonna give it a quick coat of some of that aluminum spray paint that we have and let that dry. And then we'll go ahead and put some mesh on it. All right, so let's check this out. Okay, so we went ahead and got this all spray painted with the silver. And I went ahead and put a vice grip on this side. So what we're doing is we're gonna go ahead and stretch the mesh out over the top of the frame for our fence. The nice thing about this stuff is that we can just go ahead and trim it with scissors. So I'm just going to go ahead and trim this thing right there. Give myself a little bit of room. So we have some little bit of leverage to work with. So once we got it on there, make sure it's the right length, and it is. We'll go ahead and take the vice grip off. We'll take the frame for our fence, we'll rotate it over, take our screen, go ahead and set it in here, and then we want to go ahead and work this and bend it into place. So we get this all bent in, it starts taking form, pay attention to the lower side of it. So that you're keeping it all nice and straight. Get in there, just work it lightly back and forth. Don't want to force it because then you'll put like a crease in it. We don't want to crease. We want to keep it as, as smooth as we can. That way it looks nice. Okay, so went ahead. And I got the mesh all nice and folded into place. And we got a nice lineup the way it comes down through. So now the next thing we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and take our wire, snip it off in about a three inch length, bend it over. I usually take some pliers and go ahead and give it that little extra bit right there so it's, it has a, a sharper bend to it. And then you want to go ahead and put this through the mesh and through the back side. Now I run it this way because when I go ahead and I tie it, if there's anything sharp, it's away from our cars. So the cars come off and if they do have to use this crash fence, we want to make sure that, uh, we don't inflict more damage than what we're doing to them. So I go ahead and put that in there, give it a twist, snugs it up into place, a little bit more. You wanna make sure it's tight, but you don't wanna over tighten it because you could actually tear the mesh so now we got it nice and tight flip it back over looks good from this side what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and hit each one 
of the bends. And we we'll go ahead and put some down here at the bottom as well. So when we come back, we'll be ready for a little bit of trim. And uh, we'll get ready to put on the layout. Okay, so we went ahead and we trimmed up the sides. Now we're going to bring it back over. And the little pigtails that are hanging out, we just want to get ahead and get right down into them. And trim them off. So we're going to go through, do each one of these. And then as you can see, it has a little bit of black. Now if you like that, that's great. Uh, personally, I'm going to go back through with my silver. And I'm just going to lightly coat it so that they look all uniform and they don't stand out as much. So when we uh, come back, our uh, crash fence will be complete. All right, so we got crash fence. So turns out okay. The nice thing about this stuff, guys, is that it's strong. So, you know, a car comes off, it's going to hit this, it's not going to go anywhere. Or if your dog's tail decides to hit it, it's not going to go anywhere. One of the things I like to do is that if we're going to build stuff, it's got to last. So, you know, it's not like we're, we've got a model train or something like that where it's, uh, it's only there for looks. We actually play with our toys. So I hope you guys like this and, uh, share it with others, subscribe to my channel and, uh, We'll start doing some more stuff. So, hey, if you guys have any suggestions, go ahead and put it in the comment box. Anything that you'd like to see. Um, there's a lot of stuff we need to do with the layout. So I got lighting to do. I have a lot more foam work to do. Grass, all sorts of different stuff. Billboard signs, electric signs. Um, so there's kind of a list that I have inside my head. But if you guys can think of anything, go ahead and put it down. And... Uh, We'll go from there. All right. So from Boone's Slot Car Garage, we'll see you guys later.